So the bonus image is obviously in our image list. Let me open that. And you can see that the index is 0, 1, 2, and 3. And we randomly generate one of these bonuses each time we iterate through the for loop that we created and we will place four random bonuses on the form. So let's create the method. It's going to be private and void because nothing is going to be returned and I'll call it bonus. And each bonus obviously needs coordinates where it's going to be placed. So let's do an integer x and y. And now let's randomly generate a number between 0 and 3, which are the indexes of our bonus images. So we can create a variable, I'll call it image index, and I will randomly generate an integer that corresponds with 0 up to 3. So it's 0 to 4 because 4 is exclusive upper bound. So the range is actually 0 to 3. And now we want to place these bonuses on our free field. We don't want it placed on the stub of the snake or on the wall. So we can do a do while loop and we can randomly generate the coordinates for x and y where the bonus will be placed. So our x coordinate will equal the random dot next. And remember we are starting from 1. In this case we are not starting from index 0 because that's the wall and we go up to 9. So 0 through 9. So we obviously have to do 1 through 10, which gives us the 0 to 9 range. So this is our actual play field minus the walls. And the same for the y. We'll randomly generate coordinates for that. So random.next 1 through 10. Or the range is 0 to 9. And we are going to loop while our game board field with these indexes is not equal to 3. Like I said, we don't want it on top of the snake. So we want it only position on the field that is free. So we use our enum for the game board field and we'll check those indexes that we just generated. So x and y. And we only want to place it on the free game board fields, meaning that we want to loop and keep generating new coordinates if the x or the y falls on the not free field. So we will check if it's a loop until it is not game board fields dot free. So we will generate the x and y and let's say it falls on top of the snake. So we come to y loop and we check all right is this a free field? And no it's a snake. Therefore we go back to our do loop and generate new set of coordinates. And if they are not free again then we'll again go to do loop and generate and yet another x and y coordinates and we'll keep looping until we generate valid coordinates that correspond with our free field on our game board. And once we have those we can now display them on our game board. So our game board field with the x and y at this point the x and y would be valid because if they were not we would be still in the do y loop so x and y coordinates and we'll set the game board field to bonus. So we have our snake, we have our bonus now. And now we can actually just draw it on the form. So g dot draw image. And obviously we want it from the list, from our image list. And the one we want is now with the index that is stored randomly over in our image index that we generated. So that's the randomly generated index for our image. And we want to place it on X and we have to assign the 35 pixels to it. And the X obviously is again randomly generated. We'll just add the size of the pixels, which is 35. And the Y is randomly generated and we'll assign 35 to it as well. Oh, I forgot. It's an image list and the property is obviously images. So it's img list images. That's the property of the image list. So when I run it now, I should get the snake and four bonuses. And here they are randomly on the board. Let's run it again and they should be somewhere else. And you can see now we have three apples and cherries. So yeah, it's all working correctly so far. So next, let's do the movement for the snake. 